This is Ron from Super 8 to Video. This is part two on how to set up a Wolverine movie maker to copy seven inch reels. When setting up the Wolverine for a three inch film, like I am doing right now, you zoom in very little so it captures as much of the picture as possible. When this zoom setting is done on a seven inch reel, you can run into problems. A 7 inch reel is just 8 3 inch reels spliced together. Because the films on the 7 inch reels may have come from different cameras, or the film cartridge may be from a different manufacturer, the frame adjustment may start to show the next picture like in the film I am now playing. I'll show you some options on how to deal with this problem. I started filming at the point where the next spliced reel is about to get pulled into the Wolverine. Because it's a different reel coming into the Wolverine, this can happen. Sometimes it shows at the top and sometimes it shows at the bottom. This can also happen when copying from the 5 inch reels on the Movie Maker. It has nothing to do with the two projectors set up to copy the films. The first option is simple. All you do is, is zoom in all the way with zero risk of the problem occurring. Zoom in less and get more of the picture. It all depends on how much change there is between rolls. To demonstrate, I have zoomed in with as much picture as possible showing. Then I hit the zoom in arrow four or five more times. And that usually does the trick. However, with my camera's film, I can hit the zoom in arrow from this point 16 times before I completely zoomed in. The downside to this zooming in is you give up some of the picture that the camera took, so the less zooming in, the better. I have also noticed that on my Wolverine, the more I zoom in, the less focused the picture appears to be. I do not know if that is just my machine or if it is a function of the zooming in. I know when I use microscopes and telescopes they seem to be more out of focus also as they gain in magnification. The Wolverine zooms in as a square so you give up more of the sides than you do the top and bottom because Super 8 and 8mm film is a rectangle. One of my subscribers, Daniel Phillips, had a better idea, and I like it by far the best. I even suggest it for 3 inch rolls, because you can get the entire film's frame. You will even see parts of the picture your projector did not show, because all projectors clip the tops and sides a little too. All cameras were a little different on what part of the film was exposed to the light. My camera did not expose the film to the light between the sprocket holes on the film. I am talking about this part of the film, right here, between these two holes. However, the most famous 8mm film ever taken did expose the film between the sprocket holes. I am talking about the Zabruda film of the Kennedy assassination. I'll leave a link to where you can see the Zabruder film, zoomed out to where this part of the film is visible. I'll also leave a link on my web page. All you do is, is zoom out a lot and use the crop features in video editing software to zoom back in. Like I said, you capture the whole picture. The downside is, you lose a little resolution as you zoom in. For instance, if you zoomed out 10%, you lose 10% of the resolution when you zoom back in with the editing software program. I much prefer the little loss of resolution to the gain of the whole picture. These films are in slow motion, so you can see them in detail. The one on top, I used Video Studio Pro's cropping feature. It has the maximum picture size possible. The film below is copied using the Wolverine's maximum zoom-in feature. It has the least picture size possible. I took a snapshot of the film so I can exhibit how much of the picture is missing when using this setting. This balloon is this balloon, but this balloon is missing. 
this street lamp and this street lamp are completely missing. From this building back, it is all missing. I'm starting the same film up again. The one on top is exactly the same film as before. The one below is copied using the Wolverine with its zoom in feature used as little as possible. I took a snapshot in exactly the same place. Again, this balloon is this balloon. Notice how some of this balloon is now showing. Notice both these street lamps are now in view. However, this blue sign is completely missing. Remember, I zoomed in as little as possible. And if you were to try that little zoom on a 5 or 7 inch roll, I could almost guarantee that one of the other spliced in films would begin to show the frames from above or below. To be pretty confident, you need to zoom in about four more times. That is why I prefer to zoom out and then use video editing software to zoom back in. You do not need to zoom out all the way like I did. Zooming out completely caused about 10 to 15 percent resolution loss. If you zoom out about halfway instead of all the way, it usually works with most films. Then you lose less than 10% resolution when zooming back in. This can save you from having to recopy a 7 inch roll because a frame came in from above or below. Remember, those 7 inch rolls take 4 hours to copy. This is Ron from Super 8 to Video signing off. I was able to convince a professional film copy service, Legacy Digital, to give anyone watching my videos a 10% discount on transfers done by them. Their copies are better than the Wolverine is capable of and the cropping is already done for you. Legacy Digital's prices are competitive before the 10% discount and super competitive with that discount. Keep in mind you don't have to be in the state or the country for them to give you a professional copy. Just ship the films to them and they'll ship your films back with an extremely high quality digital copy as well. They have copied and shipped films from as far away as South Korea. To get the 10% off, call them and say you want code 888. And yes, I'm up front, I get a small compensation from Legacy Digital for the referral. Now I'm going to show you how to get to my website. When you click on this white circle, these come up. Select any of them. They all take you to the same page. Now you are on my website. These two icons here are part one and two of this series. Right here, click to go to Legacy Digital's home page for more information. Click here to Amazon if you want to get your mittens on one of these Wolverine machines. If you're interested in trying the video editing software program Video Studio Pro, click here for the latest version and you can try it for 30 days for free. Incidentally, I put this tutorial together using Video Studio Pro. If you want to obtain an earlier version of Video Studio Pro for about half the cost of the newest version, click here. Click here to go to the Zabruda film I mentioned earlier. This video was uploaded on May 1st, 2017. I'll try and keep these links updated as time progresses. I'll be quiet now. This screen will stay up about another two minutes to let you make your choice on what you want to do.